What's going on, my boys? Welcome back to another episode of YT Dan Legendary Duelist. I'm going to ask you right now, if you have been watching the solo leveling of me learning to play the Ancient Gear deck in the vertical, um, shout out to the boys. Make sure you hit the like button and the heart button on the vertical, my boy. But also, this is a continuation of that vertical as we are going to talk more about the deck, get more in-depth into the combos and some of the pieces that we have, and then also... Also, we're going to follow this up at 11 a.m. CST. We're going to play this deck live and we're going to get in there for game. Um, so please check it out, my boys. And as always, let's just get right into it. So listen, I've been playing the Ancient Gear deck. You can call me the Ancient Gear Engineer because I've been getting in there. Now, I've looked at all the popular content creators. I looked at your boy, Sam. I looked at many other people with these ancient gear combos. And a lot of these guys have these ancient gear decks that are, are never my style. Like I like I don't like I don't know what it is about how these guys build these decks, but it's like it's almost like they built the deck to do one thing really well but then if it can't do the one thing really well then everything else kind of falls apart or at least that's my perception of the deck when i see them play it or when i look at the deck list or whatnot but that might not even be the case but this deck is more my style because i like to have a lot of gas synergy and and all types of stuff in my deck building so let's just start off here with the very simple stuff so we want to start off with the 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 garnicia elephantis in the room ancient gear dark golem this is the main card in the entire deck this card is a 3000 3000 uh monster which is extremely relevant because you know monsters that match attack and defense have a lot of different um cards that synergize with that in the game um and then like you just think gizmex and then um also it's it's a card that searches your deck for two cards so i would say this card is branded fusion that's how powerful this card is and the reason why i say this card is branded fusion is because not only um does this card provide you the two key cards you need to maybe win or advance your game state but number two um this card is well known and highly sought after for as an opponent like like i know that ancient gear dark golem is your go-to card so i'm gonna avoid wasting hand traps on other things if i can make sure i can stop this ancient gear dark golem but what happens is nine times out of ten you're not going to be able to ash this because there's going to be so many other targets now the reason why i built the deck the way i built it is because i found that there is some synergy there's an otk combo if you can go ahead and utilize ancient gear tanker to special summon um ancient gear dark golem from your hand and then if you use ancient gear dark golem uh special summon from the hand through tanker's effect then um you'll probably be able to use cross sheet to to link into access code talker and then also utilize uh your fusion and then attack for 45 and 52 or 53 and then that's going to be pretty much it now I like that OTK link combo, but that's not enough. We need even more versatility. So what I decided to go and do here is look into all the machines as I did for Cyber Dragon Week. And one of the cards that I had locked in for Cyber Dragon Week actually came through. So I was gonna, well, before I talk about this card, I was gonna use Clockwork Knights with the Cyber Dragon and i was gonna use the cyber dragon cards in this deck and the only reason this deck doesn't have cyber dragon is because it has this card now this card is the representation of the sky striker engine we've run three of these two rows because this card lets you send special summon rows from your deck and while this card is in the graveyard you can banish it and special summon rows from the graveyard so pretty much this is a link acceleration engine and it locks you into machines. And if you have a link one on the board, this card plus Rose can take that um, link one, or oh, sorry, yeah, not link one. Uh, if you have a link two on the board, then this plus Rose can take you to like four. And if you have, um, you know, one on the board, then you know, it could take you to like three. So primarily, um, 
this is a link summoning uh, engine and it works really well, but it's only for machines. Also, this card's name is Sky Striker, so it lets us use cards like this. Sky Striker A Zika, which is great for your OTK. It banishes a face up monster on the field for basically, you can think of it as two turns. It's for, for the turn you did it and your opponent's next turn. And then it comes back. But if you knock your opponent out, you know, in your turn, then that doesn't really matter. But then also, there's no restrictions on this card. So it lets us link into Link 3. So our Link 3 machine, if we really had to stay in machines, we can go to Sky Striker Ace Temperance, which is a really good card. It, it gives one card the suck only if it's 2500 or less and um <laughs> and because this card um is a link three and doesn't have any restrictions we can go into our link four which is my favorite link four i love this card so much surgical striker spectra this card right here i love this card this is actually the only sky striker card that i'm actually interested in and i love it not just because it says negate that is not my bias even though that is my bias but that's not my bias on this card i just love everything about this card i just love the whole setup i, I just love i just love the art i love everything about this card but it has an awkward negate that has to respond to an, a, 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 a card. So it has to be chain link two or higher, which is fine. And then also, um, if there's no spells in the grave, this card's attack goes to zero. So a zero attack while there are no spells in the grave. So what's interesting is, you know, if you didn't have, if you had a spell face down, I guess if you activate the spell, it resolved before the damage step, <laughs> then you go zero to 3000. That's pretty cool too <laughs> so this is a pretty pretty cool card it's a pretty fun card and it helps us to get to link four but um pretty much that's gonna be the tail end on this card so pretty much if you got one card just hanging out and you've already done everything because you can do this at at at, at the end of your combo you got one card hanging out you do everything then you just go ahead and just throw out your your spectra using uh the pillar of the future um so yeah i mean with that being said the whole idea and premise in this deck is to avoid the normal summon make sure you do not utilize the normal summon by any means and if you can stay away from using the normal summon and get around to special summoning um the ancient gear dark golem from the hand or from the deck no matter where you special summon them from then you'll be in a distinct advantage because your normal summon is extremely powerful in this deck because your normal summon can special summon another card from the hand or your normal summon can begin to search out other cards to put your combo in motion now what is really good about the normal summon here i like to use this card um pretty much so that we can uh use it in combination with clockwork knights and also leaving a sky striker engine so primarily what you would do is um if this card is normal or special summon you can send a machine from the deck to the grave the card that you would send to the grave is machina ruin force now this card pretty much says that you can special summon it by having monsters who equals 12 or or more in terms of levels in the grave you can special summon this card if you have two level eights, then obviously you can do it with two, but primarily we we need like two or three cards to do this. And I, I would say I do three more than often. So when you use three cards to bring this out and you already summoned um, your chaos gear golem, that's gonna be game for sure. Um, so uh, it's just more cards to add uh, to the mix. And I really feel like this, this card here really helps the deck out tremendously because not only does it have the uh the drawing abilities um it can also recycle um your ancient gear statues and it can be uh searched out through clockwork night so it's just a lot of synergy in this deck and i really feel like um you know there's lots of potential here i actually um had in three copies of forbidden droplet and i just recently added these three effect veilers i'm gonna probably run these three effect veilers in the live stream later on today but um the droplets is what i was using earlier i just didn't like the ability of not being able to set the droplet you know like there's a card that prevents you from setting um but you know that was just the thing that just i didn't like too much but uh let's just jump into a replay and uh check out 
All right, my boys, don't forget to check out the solo leveling in the vertical, my boy. We are always going to be keeping dank content in the vertical. There's going to be all kinds of new content, spicy content, and a little bit of live content always in the vertical. So check it out. Now, what we got going on here is a pretty disgusting hand. We're going second. We open advance, night, fusion, rose, and future this is crazy with this hand we can make a lot of stuff happen but let's just see what our opponent does and, and get started so raw dog the brand is fusion i mean ugh, disgusting i think i even said so <laughs> when this was i was recording this live but raw dogs the branded fusion and then albion uh super dragon and then bestial lubellion and then it set up all the bestials and then sets the cards and sets the counter so we got to play it so right now we have to play through three back row and a potential summoning of i thought he was going to summon albaz but he didn't have albaz in there but he's going to be able to summon back albion now here we go. I draw into Ancient Gear Statue. Now, Statue, because he has two monsters, I can summon Statue and use the effect. But then I also have this card. He has one card in hand, so I might want to try to bait the Ash. And then also we got Clockwork Knights to follow it up. We just don't want to lose this effect. And then also we have this that we can go get to Gear Town. So we got a lot of different options to go do something. But Ash is going to be our main obstacle. And then also figuring out like you know imperm and all those other things but ash is what i'm thinking about right now so i activate the advance and search nothing off of that suspicious and then i use the uh the cannon summon our boy so since i didn't since i didn't get the ash off of this i went ahead and just used this effect to see if i could get it and i did so um go ahead and add two so when we add two we throw away the clockwork knight see this is working fully in our combo so we added two cards with this threw away clockwork knight so we're going to add back with clockwork knight that's crazy now ancient gear box is going to add another card going to add the frame now andy do frames in the hand and then we're going to go ahead and summon the head now the statue is on the field we're going to pop the statue and then now we're going to get um the um the tank and tank's gonna summon from our hand the front andy dufresne and then andy dufresne is gonna do the combo and this is how i was explaining to you earlier how we can get those um link fours off so so see uh well he he just special summoned this back using this that was kind of silly billy i don't know why he did that or i mean i guess he kind of had to but um special summon and then this is gonna let you summon from the hand andy dufresne then you're gonna go ahead pop the gear town use this to pop the gear town get a boost and then we're gonna summon out reactor dragon now someone said dan you should add reactor dragon for the meme this card is not a fucking meme man reactor dragon in this deck is not a meme man reactor dragon is not a meme because gear town is not a fucking meme okay so gear reactor dragons is, is gonna come out here and wreak some havoc but as you can see you know we've got eleven thousand damage on board and he's still got three back row so what are we gonna do we gotta start working on that back row a little bit so we link two in the cross sheet and i know i know he's got the the, the spell card to negate a special summon and i don't have any other way of baiting that out so you know we're just gonna play into it and see what he does and then of course he, he uses it and if he didn't we were gonna just fuse ancient gear golem here into the ultimate but um he gets to negate now this is fine because remember we haven't normal summoned yet all of this is off of my special i have not normal summoned a single card yet check me out my boy check out my history check out my history it's no mystery i did not normal summon at all we were just cooking all of this we're just cooking all of this off of ancient gear advance and off of catapult we did not normal summon at all and we also have pillar of the future and we also have a clockwork night search we haven't done either one of those yet and this is all what we have on the board so we're going to go ahead and discard with frame and do frame and then we're going to go ahead and add the ancient gear advance now because we added the advance we can use the advance with um our sky dragger future combo so now we're going to go ahead and take a monster with 2500 of those things get over here yum, 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 yum. but then he uses the forbidden droplets okay now 
I guess at this point he realizes that it's just gonna be GG no matter what. Um, he doesn't know I have the future. He doesn't know I have the future, and he doesn't know. Um, it, well, maybe he does know I didn't normal summon, but he does see I have three cards in hand, no normal summon, and 9,100 damage on board. And then he just droplets and just threw away pretty much <laughs> the majority of what he had and scooped it up. So, yeah, my boys, check me out uh, later on at 11. It's going to be an amazing stream. And as always, keep it vertical.